before we get doing our runs, we're just going to plug in our wideband, which we've got sitting down here. Uh, I use it on customers' cars sometimes, so usually it sits up in the pod. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make sure our wideband's reading and uh, then set up with our data logger and just do a couple pulls. Just work on that fueling. This is our Tactrix open port 2.0. About a 350 ish dollar cable, but you need it. So the idle and cruise is pretty good, couple lean spots, but cruising around, running slightly lean isn't too bad. It's just we want to make sure that this factory set of injectors is keeping up, and we want to make sure that uh, we aren't running into any knock because it's a high comp engine compared to the turbos. This is a 10.3 to 1 as opposed to like 8.8, .8. but. The good thing is um, we have already verified this with the tune on our Nokia, so I'm running it on some cheeky timing here. Yeah, that's been all good. Just gonna drive the car around, get it warm, and uh, do some second gear pulls. So yeah, let's do it. Should be out in the back roads in no time. Put it in reverse, Terry. Let's do it. The second gear is pretty fun. I've given it quite a bit of timing above like four and a half. Um, but yeah, obviously today we're just sort of getting our uh, AFR targets on point. Just doing some more data logging. Uh, getting to areas that are a struggle to get with on a dyno. So then when we go into a dyno, uh, we can tune our variable cam timing for uh, best efficiency and go from there. Average hasn't exceeded about 0.3. Uh, although I don't like to reference off the factory ones when they're set up. Generally, most people say if you're getting over like a 1.5, so pulling 1.5 degrees of timing, uh, that's when you should sort of be more weary. Um, but that being said, you can't tune these timing-wise until you've got knockies. <laughs> So just roll on second. about three good sort of runs to limiter um, and that's that's really all I need um, yeah data wise from there we can just make sure our fuel is going good like I can see my knock average hasn't gone over hasn't gone over 0.5 so 